Hello everybody, I'm Jack Ivey once again live here on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. I want to welcome you back to our political forum and we're excited about having a very special guest with us today. We got Dr. Eddie Britton. He's a candidate for the State House District 18. And Dr. Britton, good to see you. Hey, thanks, Jack. Glad to have you. And I know from uh, just keeping up with you, not only on Facebook, but talking to you back and forth, uh, you've been very, very busy. And uh, I'll tell you what, this particular job that uh, that you're running for, the State House seat, uh, a lot of territory to cover, isn't it? Uh, so very spread out, a lot of miles. Of course, I know you're excited about uh, being in the campaign and meeting a lot of the folks out there. And of course, You've been uh, in this area all your life, basically, and of course you know a lot of the folks, but you've also found out uh, there's a lot of folks you don't know out there that you've been trying to get in touch with. Oh, definitely. A lot of the younger folks I'm not connected to like I am their parents. What are the folks uh, telling you out on the campaign trail? I know they're excited about you running. Well, you, you don't always know what to believe in a campaign, but it looks good. You know, we're getting a lot of encouragement, a lot of the ideas, and my background is something I think a lot of people can uh, relate to and that's sort of what they're looking for in the next legislator. If you just happen to join us, we're talking with Dr. Eddie Britton. He's a candidate for the State House seat, District 18. Don't forget election time coming up on November the 6th. And what we're going to try to do in today's interview, interview is introduce you to Dr. Eddie Britton so you'll know a little bit more about him. And we're going to get back together and talk more in depth about some other topics uh, about this campaign a little bit later. But uh, Dr. Britton, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and your family just so folks will know more about you. Well, I've lived in Belle Green all my life, except when I was away for college. Um, my parents, uh, my dad worked at Reynolds Metal Company. Uh, mom was a stay-at-home mom, still is. She's still with us at 85. Awesome. Uh, married Kathy Patterson, whose folks were from here in Red Bay in Belmont. Uh, Sam Patterson and Nellie Swindle were her parents. With people, The older folks in the community will have a good connection with them, and W.W. W. Swindle and Hattie. Uh, anyway, met her when I was in college, and we got married, and uh, we have two, two children, David, who is an optometrist that works here in Red Bay, and then my daughter Allison, who teaches at uh, kindergarten in Gaston area, Rainbow City, actually. And each of them have two kids, so I've got four grandkids, two boys and two girls. And I guarantee that's what makes the Britton family happy, them <laughs> grandkids, right? Uh, definitely. Of course, uh, I, I guess the biggest question I wanted to ask you today, and of course I know uh, you've been working hard all your life and uh, you've had a lot of goals in life and you've met uh, all those goals, but uh, i got to ask you this, what made you decide to run? Uh, this, is a, this is a big job and uh, I know you, you thought about this long and hard, but what, what made you decide to run for this office? Well, actually two things. Number one, anybody that knows me knows I'm passionate about education. And I don't know anyone that doesn't love and care about the future for their kids and their grandkids, like we're talking about. And education has been hammered in Alabama for the last 10 years, big time. And I felt like it was time that somebody would go in, maybe fight a little bit harder and do the things for that. And then I'm also tired of the bickering between the parties. I think we need to get back to doing what's best for the citizens and the kids and the grandkids in that situation. And, uh, it's time that we, once the election's over, you put the partisanship aside and start doing what's right for the people. And working for them kids and grandkids that all of us love out there and stuff. Definitely. And, uh, if you've had a chance to be out on the campaign trail, you might have seen uh, some of the Eddie Britton signs out there. And I know if you'd like one of those Eddie Britton signs, I, I guarantee Dr. Britton <laughs> yes, would be tickled to death to get you one in your community or your yard and stuff. Uh, I wanted to uh, talk about and let you highlight on this first interview, mainly we want to get to know you a little bit more today, but highlight some of the main goals and uh, things that you'd like to see done if you're elected in this office. And I'd like to start out with the schools since that's uh, top priority. Well, obviously we've got to protect our kids when they're at school. Safety's got to be number one. And then we have to go back improving our educational process. We focus way too much on testing these days, spend millions of dollars and things that I think we could do in different directions. Uh, and then our teachers need our, their support. Uh, of course, I'm from a teaching family and my, my daughter's a teacher and a lot of friends that are teachers and we just don't support our teachers like we need to. Speaking in the schools, of course, you've, uh, you've been principals, you've uh, taught in the uh, schools as well. Uh, tell everybody where you've uh, been as far as your education background, as far as the teaching part of it. <laughs> well, I started here in Red Bay. I was a math and science teacher here, taught here for three years in Franklin County, had a cutback, and I got transferred to Phil Campbell High School. So I worked there for four years, and the funding for teachers' salaries was not great, so my administrator at the time suggested I go into administration. 
So I went back and worked on that. Then I was assistant principal at Belgrain for four years and math science teacher. And then I was principal at Belgrain for 21 years. And then Mr. Kirkendall from over in Tish County called me up. He had some issues he'd like me to work on. So I went to Tish County High School for principal there up on 72 for six years. And of course, uh, we got to see you out on the uh, the schools doing the uh, sports, uh, not only in Mississippi, but in Alabama. We ran into Dr. Eddie Britton all the time and stuff. Uh, talk about the schools. You've talked about qualifications. Uh, let's talk about your educational background. Uh, if you're interested in the schools with that educational background, uh, that makes you big time qualified. Uh, when you talk about education, you talk about schools, you've been there and you've done that. Well, I have. I have 38 years in, in education. Of course, I graduated from Belgreen High School, then I went to Northwest Shoals, and then to UNA, and I've got several degrees from UNA, and then I finished my doctorate degree at Samford University in Birmingham. Uh, a lot of background, and of course, 38 years of experience on top of that. Sounds good. Talking with Dr. Eddie Britton. He's a candidate for the state house seat, District 18, and I know that uh, probably when Dr. Britton, you started this campaign, you thought November 6th would never get here. <laughs> But I guarantee November 6th is slipping up on the candidates out there that's running for different offices. You're wondering, am I going to have enough time to get out there and see everybody? Uh, you know something that's uh, dear to the folks out there's heart that, uh, that has to pay it is health care. Um, well, that's a personal issue, and we may not have enough time to talk right. about that today. But uh, if you happen to not work for, if you happen to be self-employed or work for a company that doesn't offer the health benefits, then it's tough out there. You can probably relate to that yourself. It's very no very expensive and it's uh, something that we've got to address. I, I support Medicaid uh, expansion and the reason for that is so that we can save these rural hospitals. You know, we've lost uh, 14 rural hospitals in the last 10 years and there's more on the chopping block. We've got to make some, we've got to start taking care of all of our health care issues. Of course, I know you're running in uh, District 18, uh, several uh, areas involved that, but just on the Red Bay end, uh, I don't know what the folks would do in the Red Bay area without the Red Bay Hospital, and uh, that's one of the hospitals you're talking about as far as protecting and uh, uh, health care. Let's talk about uh, ethics, uh, you know, things, uh, whether it's on the national level, local level, state level. Uh, Times have changed after. I, I, I'd like it to get smooth again. Uh, what's your thoughts on the ethics down in Montgomery? Well, I don't like it a whole lot. It's, we're in a mess, to be honest about it, when our elected officials are corrupt and going to jail quite frequently. and not. The problem is they're not listening to the people, and they're not working for the people. They're working for themselves too much. That's got to change. Uh, I hope to be able to affect that change a little bit. Of course, the complaints I hear uh, just talking to the folks out there and uh, not just Franklin County, but whatever is roads and bridges or roads, county roads are in uh, not that good a shape. And uh, of course, I know it takes money to do that. Uh, what's your thoughts on the roads and bridges in uh, your District 18? Well, in our district, I know of roads that were paved that have been graded up and made back to a gravel road. And the sad thing about that is the gravel road's better than the previous paved road was. So. We have some major issues with that. We have some bridges that are crumbling, you know, and of course that goes back to education where school buses can't go over certain bridges when they don't meet the weight limit. So we're having to adjust and make different routes and things like that. Dr. Eddie Britton, our special guest here on our political forum, talking about this big District 18 race coming up on November the 6th. And I promised you when we started this interview, and Dr. Britton has agreed that we're gonna get back together several times to talk about schools, we're going to talk about health care, we're going to talk about the ethics, we're going to go into detail about the roads and bridges, and also the one I haven't mentioned yet is good paying jobs. <laughs> Definitely. That, that, that sounds like something that uh, everybody would be for, right? Well, there are. It sounds that way, but you know, in our area, we really don't have a real shortage of jobs, but we have a shortage of good paying jobs with good benefits, and that's something that I hope to be able to address. Sounds good. Dr. Britton, uh, you've agreed and I've agreed to get back. Denise has even agreed to, to work with us on the other end. When we get back together uh, and talk about these different topics, you might have something that you might want us to talk about that's uh, close and dear to you. So if you'll let us know, let Dr. Britton know Please. out on the campaign trail, we'll talk about it right here. We'll discuss it because you need to know more about Dr. Britton because I think if you know more about Dr. Britton and what he stands for, 
you're more inclined to vote for him on November the 6th. So make sure you ask questions. Does that sound good? That sounds great. I'm going to give you a chance. Uh, since Dr. Britton, uh, this is our first interview today, uh, I've already warned him that I've got him a camera over here, his own personal camera. Uh, you know, I go back to childhood. A lot of folks uh, want you to ask for the vote, and you definitely want to ask for the folks' vote out there because I know on this campaign trail, District 18 is huge. You can't get in front of everybody, but this is a way to get in front of folks, and I'm going to let you uh, say something to the folks out there and ask for the vote. Folks, here is Dr. Eddie Britton. Thanks, Jack. Hello, I'm Andy Britton, and I am a candidate for the House of Representatives for District 18. I have a lot of history with this community in Red Bay and, of course, Franklin County. I would appreciate your vote on November the 6th. Please go to the polls. This is a very important election. Uh, please vote for me and give me your support, and I will always appreciate it. Eddie Britton, candidate for House District 18. Sounds good. Of course, this uh, interview has uh, been paid for by the Eddie Britton campaign and uh, Dr. Brady, uh, we appreciate you and appreciate uh, Miss Kathy and uh, tell her she can uh, she can come on the set with us next time if she'd like. I don't know if that'd be a good idea or not. <laughs> <laughs> she may not want to be on here, but uh, you folks out there that know Dr. Britton, I know he would love for you to put in a good word for him out there. You know what he stands for. You know what he's stood for his entire life. A uh, Christian man who wants to bring those Christian values to conservative the Christian. Confer conservative Christian wants to take that to Montgomery and represent you folks back here in District 18. I appreciate you. Thanks, Jack. I appreciate you letting me come on. Yes, sir. Appreciate Denise on the controls. And for Dr. Eddie Britton, Denise, I'm Jack Ivies. And thank you for joining us. And we'll see you next time with more on the Political Forum right here on your hometown station. Y'all have a great day.